Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. Personal reading link is in the description box below this video. All right, Virgo, so let's take a look at what other messages there are for you for November 2024. I'm going to do a Celtic cross reading and uh, yeah, try to see what's the heck's going on here, Virgo. Hi, everybody in the chat. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so let's take a look. Hmm. <laughs> okay so bottom of the deck you have temperance so there's an energy of healing calmness coming into alignment a sense of um patience um feeling very tempered you're not it looks like there's a like november will no disruptive energy or chaos or excess or feeling out of control this is more a sense of peace self-control moderation um and really it feels like taking the lead in your life or just being in a position of you know what i, I have the power it's like feeling empowered okay with the emperor um respecting yourself uh perhaps you have a connection with a father figure be seeing a father or um someone older someone who sits like they're important in your life oh that's a son like they're important in your life um there could be some travel in november um and a big change i feel like completing a goal or a lesson okay something that um maybe ended that made you very sad there's like a new beginning here i feel like you're ready to start the year with a new beginning happening in your life now let's take a look at your past so you have the knight of swords so a, a big change happened in the past for you looks like maybe something i want to say a lifestyle change of some sort you made some kind of decision in the past and you went forward with it like you took charge of a situation in your life okay yeah courage something that you something changed in your life i feel like it was your either you were given some kind of spiritual download or some kind of awakening or order you were something you knew you had to do and you went for it, it took a lot of courage and strength for you to to enact some type of change in your life in the past okay but presently presently though <laughs> virgo i mean okay that's all right you might be going through some kind of dark energy try and get this a little more so you can see it so you have the devil so going through some kind of a, a shadow going through the dark shadow at this time dealing with addiction something ended and now it's like okay now you have to face or you're currently facing some kind of i want to use the word like a demonic energy like all the maybe you're having bad dreams or um a little bit of a struggle here with the shadow side seeing stuff within you things are coming up is what i feel some dark things are coming up let me get a clarifying card for this since you've made this change this lifestyle change hmm uh, some of you just might be feeling like you're not worthy of something or there's a sense of unworthiness you're struggling with your value perhaps um or it just feel like it's hard there's an ego thing too what did you go through in your past could have been with a leo or some so either you made this change took a lot of courage whether it was forced upon you or a decision that you made in your past it was pretty heavy duty it looks like yeah it was some kind of change virgo you needed to get the wheel moving you needed for things turning things around in your whatever happened in the past whatever the decision that was made or whatever you went ahead in your past and you did to change something particular thing or your lifestyle in general 
it was you it was done in your favor it's almost as if it was like a blessing that came in as difficult as it might feel right now you might feel like you've fallen from grace you know there's some stuff going on here with this devil and the six of wands you might not be feeling like you deserve appreciation or recognition right now yeah so there's the hermit you're inside virgo i mean some of you are definitely i will say going to be coming upon this time period where with deep reflection i feel like you're going to come out a winner right because you do have the star and i feel like that's what you're this is what you are this is the benefit of all the struggle that you're going through right now whether it's mental, physical, emotional, whatever needed to change in the past was for your own good. Okay. And, you, and you're definitely like all the struggle you're going through right now, maybe you're seeing on your own or you're just doing some deep reflection. Um, there might be some doubts of your worth and things like that, but that's okay. Um, I feel like with the star, this is a sense of renewal. And some of you are really struggling to renew your spirit. And get some kind of hope back <clears throat> trying to get your faith back okay but i feel like you're on the right path that's that's what i'm hearing i feel like you're on the right path yeah okay so here you go you definitely it, what's driving you is to have like this wake up call this to gain clarity a final decision and even for some of you, like your life's purpose, like what you, why am I here? What is my purpose now? And striving for that, right? Even, even with the, um, the chariot crowning down on you, I feel like spirit is trying to say, keep going, keep going forward, keep make, taking action and making these changes in your life. Okay. That's what the, that's what the chariot's about. It's like a journey, you know, Virgo you're on this journey you're there's definitely going to be some awakenings things are going to be revealed to you as you take this journey as you and it feels like journey within the soul or within yourself as you're making it feels like internal change it feels like reframing starting uh, starting over in your life okay and I feel like it's about doing right by yourself you're doing right by yourself you're being fair and and that's what part of this revelation feels like it comes to is like the truth will come out and it will be revealed to you that either you're on the right path or this change that you've made in the past was necessary it was in your benefit even if it's in the in the case of like if there's a relationship that ended or something whatever a relationship or a job or something to do with family whatever the shift and change how, however it occurred in the past in whatever manner it was good for you it was meant to be it was something even if it feels currently or felt awful at the time it was the right i almost feel like spirit moved you because you've got the strength and the wheel of fortune and these are major arcanas and i feel like you somewhere in the past were trying to on your own because I always feel like the minor arcana have to do more of your free will and your will, but the majors are all about universal changes, you know? So I feel like somewhere in your past you were trying to, or attempting, you were going forward, but something came in and said, that's it. We're, you're struggling, we're going to just give you a little assistance here, whatever it is, okay? Now the good news is going forward, you've got the Ace of Wands. So in the near future, which for me feels like sometime in the middle of November, there's a brand new beginning. You, and this is like physical results of coming in to show you like you're being given more tools, more assistance to move forward. You know, it's kind of like when you're hiking up a mountain um, on your own versus being given like a, a rod or a staff to help assist you. And that's what I feel like you're trying to get to the top. And I feel like 
I feel like spirit's going to come down and give you a, a, like more assistance. They're going to hand you like a tool, <laughs> so to speak, uh, symbolically to help you get to the top of, to the peak here. Okay. Some kind of tool. I'm not exactly sure what exactly it will be. It does feel like a physical tool of some sort. Okay. Hmm. You get the three of swords. Wow. For some of you, this does have to do with some kind of heartbreak or divorce um, or a separation or some kind of an argument. Maybe even if you're dealing with some type of depression, I feel like um, there might even be like an apology comes in. Um, there's It's recovery after loss and physical healing, even from surgery. You're going to receive some type of assistance. So I like this, Virgo. So this feels kind of like, okay, a decision was made. Universe stepped in in the past and said, this this is where you need to be. We're putting you somewhere else. Um, and maybe it was one of those things where you couldn't get yourself to actually do it. And spirit stepped in and did it for you. That's what I feel like the past energy is. And now you're kind of here like, oh, I wasn't fully prepared and now you're dealing with the struggle but you have so many positive supporting cards surrounding the struggle that I feel like you're not going to you're going to be given the tools and the assistance to keep going forward because some of you might um get this energy where you feel like because it's so hard you might want to go back you know how some people that are going down you know hiking up the mountain right this is the analogy i'm they're, well the picture they're giving me is hiking up the mountain and be, the more it becomes difficult increasingly difficult then it's kind of like i just can't go any further i need to turn around and just go back down and try another time and i feel like as you're going up that mountain like i said you're going to receive assistance to help you for the rest of the journey okay so it feels very inspirational because that is what the ace of wands is it's inspiration you'll be given inspiration to deal with something rather difficult that you will still be dealing with right but you won't be having to be out there on the front lines fending for yourself okay so you do have the page of wands and this is in the position of your advice and just you in general and this has to do with continuing to be active communicating with other people um, your advice here is try your best to get excited about your future and stay in the present try not to spend too much time in your past right let me see what else your advice is here. Um, I'm hearing uh, reach out, communicate, talk. Oh, okay. Get out there in the world. There, I'm hearing communicate with the world. <laughs> talk to the world. Don't isolate. Stay involved. For some of you, this might have to do with talking about, um, go ahead and make that trip. Make those plans for the trip. Call that uh, travel agent. I don't know if they still have travel agents or look online. Go ahead and make the move is what I'm hearing. Complete the goal, the lesson, communicate, talk, get excited about uh, the, the world in general. There's something here about... Talking about your future and the changes with enthusiasm. And it does have a connection to me, either to talking online, like on the World Wide Web, or communicating with people online. Also, um, new discoveries, seeking and searching new discoveries in regards to travel or the world traveling the world do you know what i mean like going places seeing else what's out there i feel like it brings they're telling me like a fresh new perspective that might be part of this tool it could have to do with relocation 
as well. For some of you might be thinking you're going to move and get like a fresh new perspective, change your surroundings or your environment. Uh, there's, they're telling me some kind of connection to triggers uh, that are related to your surroundings, changing them up, looking out different windows. Okay. So what's external to you is the magician, which is amazing. I feel like we're not even getting into love here. <laughs> what's external to you is the magician. Like there's magic all around. This is what I feel like the energy is. There's magic all around. Spirit's trying to tell you. You're surrounded by inspiration. The magician is all about inspiration. Turning your visions into reality. The things you're seeking, what you want to do, where you want to go, how you want to live, who you want to be. Let's get another card for the magician. No more clarity. Hold tight to your visions, Virgo. That's what's external to you. Everywhere you go, I feel like everywhere you go, everything you touch, everyone you encounter, you have the magic touch. Don't keep it all in with the Four of Pentacles because this is really like... And also they're saying... Um, Build in silence is what I'm hearing. Don't let everybody know your every single move. All right? Keep some things to yourself. Even your magic gifts, the gifts that you have. You know, uh, because people won't come come in and try to rob you of your gifts if you if you just leave them laying around everywhere. Okay? Or you just put them out everywhere. I just want to get another clarifying card for the Four of Pentacles. And the magician. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's crazy. <laughs> so you got the five of swords with the four of pentacles, you know. This definitely feels like you want to protect from people, places, and things. That are associated with theft, <laughs> violence, abusive relationships, that kind, that kind of thing, okay? There might be somebody who does kind of show up or is in your periphery that comes in like a magician, um, but you got to be careful, I hear, of that person or people. It could just be a collective. And that's why I said you want to keep things to yourself. Not everything that you do the world needs to know about okay you could be excited about being out there in the world and traveling but there's something here about manifest most importantly in your external life some privacy that's what i'm hearing because like i said once people kind of know what how much money you got in the bank how how much jewels where you where you hide your stash all that stuff there's always going to be these little thieves running around trying to take things from i'm not telling you someone's gonna steal from you i'm just saying you want to just keep your keep what's precious and valuable private because they're precious and valuable okay you don't have to lock them away and never see them again but you just want to i'm, I'm hearing keep the things that are precious and valuable close to your heart and in some type of private uh, manner like your heart that is the most precious and valuable thing you have. Also your brain and also your lungs. That's why they're all encased in hard bone. <laughs> Those three things you can't live without. Your brain, your heart, and your lungs. Although we do know there are people out there walking around with no heart. They got no brain. <laughs> and their capacity for, for living is minimal. And you don't want to be going in that same direction, right? That's what I'm hearing, okay. Only put some things, Only I'm hearing only reveal some things, not everything, okay? Anyway, uh, so I keep going on. All right, let's see. So you do have the Queen of Wands showing up in your hopes. Um, 
And the Queen of Wands feels for me more like an energy of um, having the courage and the ability to make this necessary transition either with a fire sign or without. But it's also about having the courage, the confidence, the self-assurance, the power, and the boldness to make some type of transition, relocation, to move, to get out of the choppy waters and into something calmer in, in your emotions. Like, you know, I feel like when I look at the Six of Swords, they're saying, you know, swords are all about the mental and the, our thoughts affect our feelings. There's something here about your thoughts. It could be about negative thinking. Rumination. It could have a lot to do with rumination, which are affecting your emotions, your your thoughts. Um, I feel like with the Queen of Wands here, this is a message here as far as your hope to realize that you do have the confidence to overcome some emotional some thoughts that are affecting your emotions. I don't want to say it's your emotions. I don't it's always the thoughts that come first that affect the emotions. So something about changing your thinking to have um to practice more positive thinking is what I'm hearing, which will help you overcome your emotions, okay? Which is like daily meditation, because um, there's something here about reframing and talking to yourself in a more positive way. If you already do that, that's super, super awesome. Keep practicing that. Um, because the Queen of Wands, with all the yellow and gold, comes across to me as someone who's very positive, very intuitive, um is, is has a very active energy part of part of your um sometimes your activity your physical activity can stimulate the brain in a more positive way because it sends those chemicals to your brain the good the good feel chemicals so it might be something here about remaining physically active to help your brain get more because i i definitely feel like physical activity helps with depression it helps with you know even if it's just a little bit i mean you don't have to go powerhouse on yourself but no matter even if it's just walking 30 minutes every day it really does something to your brain it gets the juices flowing and releases those positive good feels in your head and that affects your emotions you know okay so your outcome is beautiful you have the four of wands so this is an energy virgo i feel like sometime by the end of november or even going into December, they're giving me four weeks, but they're telling me that you're going to feel that finally coming home feeling. You're going to arrive. So if you're moving, for some of you, you're going to find that place that feels like home or an actual home. It's definitely a homecoming energy. There's family, friends, reunions. I know at the end of the month, there is Thanksgiving here in the United States. So celebration, happiness, joy, good times, structure, foundations. Oh, look, and you're ending up with the emperor again. So for some of you, you're going to see your dad or your mom or an older brother or sister. And there's blessings and definitely a Thanksgiving energy for sure. And you being also taking on the energy of the emperor, being in a much more stable, if you feel a little unstable, this feels like, um, you know, all, just all your Christmas is coming together, Virgo. That's what I'm trying to say. A cornucopia, a buffet of everything you want, everything you need, being able to sit there and reflect and enjoy your family and, or the, your soul tribe or the people that, that are important to you. You know, the Ace of Cups comes in. And it brings a blessing of new beginnings and new things, love even, a possible relationship, maybe marriage or, um, you know, a, a home with an Aries it could be or someone that sits in authority, not, not authority like bad, okay? I mean, I don't see somebody coming in here who's, you know, narcissistic or super immature, problems with authority, or someone that makes bad decisions or just has like a big fat ego. This feels like someone who's, you could be connecting with someone at the end of November where there's like a new love beginning. 
you know so whatever you're going through it could be on the spectrum of a very low degree of hurt and pain to a very high degree of devastation or what have you but I feel like you pull through something in the whole month I don't know you just really put some work in Virgo with that Queen of Wands there's a feeling of improvement that's the word I feel major improvement and blessings coming in by the end of the month here. Hmm. Some of you, it's a reconciliation or it's just a family thing that involves children or someone from your past returning at the end of the month. <clears throat> like I said, it could be an Aries. It doesn't have to be. It could be any sign. But it's somebody that comes in or shows up at the end of the month. Maybe somebody you knew in your childhood or you have a past connection with them um, where there's healing because that's what the Ace of Cups is. It brings about all this healing. Father figure, someone who's respected, holds a leadership position, a good planner. <laughs> could be an elder i'm just describing the emperor i'm not saying that's your person it, i mean whoever it is you might some of you might be remarrying um the, the father of your children <laughs> possibly like oh <laughs> that's crazy but um or there could be like maybe just a long-term committed relationship comes in possibly with someone from your past if not it's just someone that has children or grandkids which is lovely virgo it's lovely there's nostalgia there's a reunion definitely and so like i said it could be a, a romantic thing it could just be reuniting with family or head of household you could be the head of household or doing something you know around the holiday i mean it's it's it, these are beautiful cards as your outcome i'm just going to tell you that that's a very beautiful thing I love it. I love it. And I am so, 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 I wish I could just hug all of you because I'm so super excited for the holidays and just all the love and blessings coming in the end of this year. I just feel it. You know what I mean? Like I feel it and I feel it for everybody. The improvements and things just really getting better you know and the inspiration coming in for to just want to to be to choose to be happy every day it just feels glorious to me i don't know how to explain it <laughs> you know when you feel so good about things or something and you're just like how do i put this into words that's what it feels like oh wow you also have heart opening opening your heart center and listening somebody left a comment in my comments under the video about opening up the heart chakra i should pin it it was really beautiful I, I don't know who she was can't remember her name it's in the comments from yesterday's video and uh i, I just thought it was great and this is kind of what she was talking about opening your heart chakra your heart center and listening to your intuition will always lead you in the right direction you now have the opportunity to let down the walls you created from past wounds let your light shine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine let it shine from your heart to experience what the universe has always wanted from you. I love it. Listen to your heart when she's calling for you or he, whomever. Listen to your heart. There's nothing else you can do. I'm out of tune. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, anyway, I'm not going to sing it. Okay, yeah, you do have distorted view and perspective. You need a new perspective, Virgo. Some of you, this is about moving or just looking out different windows in, in November. A change in perspective is needed to view you or the situation with compassion. The root core of pain is often associated with how you may view yourself or the situation from a wounded place. Choosing to heal this brings the broken pieces back together to create a healthy viewpoint. I love it. Some of you, that's that, that's that hangman energy, 100%. Getting the wisdom, self-sacrifice, getting a different perspective. For some of you, needing better boundaries, 
in your communication with others. Creating boundaries requ requires self-love and discipline. It's not about you shutting people out or being unkind. It is about you telling them you care enough about yourself to create boundaries that are for your highest good. Clear communication is needed to keep your boundaries intact. And it's basically saying, this is as far as I'm going to go because this is as far as I'm capable of going or this is this is just my boundary you really do make major improvements in November I feel it I love it and there you are fun and adventure joy it's time to play and get reacquainted with your childlike self open up to your sense of adventure and fantasy you've been way too serious Virgo and moving through the motions snap out of it and have some fun these cards were built for me because <laughs> that's my that's me snap out of it I mean I don't often say that to people I really don't actually say that to people I mean I've said it to you guys here in my readings but I'm always saying it to myself snap out of it because <laughs> I tend to listen I'm a Virgo. Let me tell you what. Sometimes I can get so into, like I get my blinders on tunnel vision when I'm learning something or I'm discovering something. And, you know, when you get into a series, say you're watching, you're binging a series and you just don't even, who hasn't gone down that road where you're just series after just like episode after episode after episode and you, you're like, oh, I got to go to the bathroom, but this is really great. It's time to snap out. It's like, you got to take some time, right? You got to take a break. I mean, come on. We're all human. We all do it to some degree. Some of us handle it better than others. <laughs> Seriously. <clears throat> all right, let's take a look here. I cannot, I, I can't wait till December to start using the Christmas time cards. The winter weight deck. I'm super excited. What else do you need to know, Virgo? Oh, look, yes. Luck is on your side, Virgo. This is fantastic. We love this. Yep, intuition. Trust your intuition. If there's any red flags, don't ignore them because they come back to bite you. Um, but I also feel like, you know, we all have red flags. Sometimes we don't even realize we have red flags. Sometimes other people will point our own red flags out to us. Sometimes we do know what our red flags are. I would focus on um, turning them red flags white for yourself any red flags that you might have within yourself is about healing and growth identify them and seek ways to change them listen i want to tell you something i know a lot of you you know going to therapy and stuff like that it's expensive if you can't afford to pay for it and it's time consuming let me give you a piece of advice if your tarot readings and, and you kind of get something from that and it helps you did you know, I don't know if I should say this, but, and I'm not endorsing them, but if you, you can use chat GPT for therapy. Did you know that? I mean, somebody told me that the other day and I was like checking it out. You can type in, say, a, str a struggle that you're having, right? And you can actually talk to that damn thing. <laughs> you, so let's say I'm having a hard, let's say I'm struggling with a coworker, right? And they're doing this, they're doing that, and this is how I feel. I don't know how to deal with this situation. I'm struggling with it. Chat freaking GPT is like a therapist. <laughs> and will actually give you resources, also advice, and tips and, and tricks and tools to try to deal with something. Now, I don't know. Maybe I'm a late comer here. Um, maybe everybody knows that. But I just find it like super, super fascinating. Um, as far as that goes, right? So, I mean, of course, you can even look up recipes. It can create recipes for you. You know, look, we're going into the new age here. And um, I don't know what the risks. I don't know anything about that. I'm real small time here. I haven't really looked into it. But I find that, you know, if you've got some things that are going on within you, uh, and maybe tower readings or things like that are only like hitting the tip of the iceberg, you can try that. And it's very um private well i think it is i hope it is i mean i don't wouldn't want you using it and then all your stuff gets stored somewhere so i don't know virgo like i don't you have to investigate that right don't tr don't trust me on everything um you have your own free will but i think 
I don't know why I brought that up. Maybe Spirit wants me to tell you something about that. Maybe some of you, if you're using that, if you've ever tried that, leave me a comment below. Please don't leave negative comments or conspiracy theories and things like that. Like, you know, it was, I'm just going to delete them. But if you've, if you've used that and you found like it's been helpful to you, um, yeah, you can leave a comment if you like. You also have com uh, communicate. So that's what we're talking about. Compromise, forgive, work it out. And like I always say, forgiveness is for you. And you can forgive other people as well or someone else. You could choose to work it out <clears throat> and compromise. Or you could just say, I forgive you, but I don't want to reconcile. Or I don't want to communicate right now. You know, you're not obligated. Forgiveness does not mean you're obligated to any person place of thing it's up to you the opportunity to come up and have that happen yes but if there's an unresolved issues those things need to be communicated and worked out as i always say okay i want to get your i want to see what your your love messages okay you got this could be the one all right some of you have already met the romantic partner you seek <coughs> Okay, and you could be getting to know them in November. Hmm, you may not even realize it. There's a bond that deepens with someone. Oh, a possible engagement in the future or a higher level of commitment. So this is for those of you who are maybe currently getting to know someone. Um, this could be your person. Well, let's say this could be the romantic partner you're seeking. Um, the one is so final and it's such a high expectation when we say the one but the card says it so there you go um so if you're uh connecting with someone getting to know each other at this time somebody new or re learning about someone after some time's passed you guys are reconnecting um yeah uh, we do see a lot of commitment and ascension here in romantic relationships also with family and children and things like that so it's a very positive energy okay hold on oh, so i just want to get a couple more cards here and see what else Oh, that just flipped right out. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> of course. Of course. Beware of the narcissist. Love bombing, self-absorbed, one-sided. Woo. Well, I didn't feel that in this reading. So I feel like some of you are going to have to check that out. Uh, you could also be trying to discern if your twin flame, um, if there, it was a nar a narky kind of relationship. There might be something going on about that. <clears throat> this might be part of like your healing that's happening here. Um, you could find out that yes, they are. Or you could find out like, no, they're not. And this is my true twin flame. Or you could have a fear. Am I going to, is this person I'm currently talking to or someone that I, next person going to meet? Are they going to be a narc? Or are they going to, is it my twin yeah, there's a little bit of fear or there's something here to do with heartbreak and pain. We saw that with the Three of Swords. Separation, loss, deception, lies, shocking attack. Okay, backstabbing. Well, so now we're going a little dark here. Hello? Okay. Uh, Virgo, you're, you're going through it. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going through it in November, but I, I feel like everything's going to turn out well. There you go. You got soulmate love. Here you go. Soulmates, love, wedding rings, blowing kisses, dating. Everything's going to work out for you. Okay. As far as your love life goes, I really feel like it. But I feel like there's a lot of maybe some things that you're just trying to sort out in your life. All right. Let's take a look. I want to see the Chinese sign of the person coming in or that you're currently connecting with if you are. Okay. So year of the tiger, year of the ox, year of the monkey, year of the goat, year of the rat, the dog, the horse, and the snake. Wow. Okay. And for some of you, that could also be your Chinese sign. If that doesn't resonate for you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Okay, Virgo. 
All right, what else do we want to know? Let's get into. All right, I just I want to give you one other message. One other message for Virgo. Okay. There you go. You got the eight. You got the eight of wands here. So this is speed, action, quick change, and some good news arrives. Unexpected events or rapid changes, the ability to multitask, some business travel, or just travel. You have <laughs> you have stress caused by many positive opportunities. What? <laughs> I feel like that's a not a bad thing here. Cupid's arrows. There's so much positive energy that's going to be going on, Virgo. <laughs> are coming to you. Positive good news. That so many positive opportunities. It's going to stress you out. <laughs> like when it rains, it pours, Virgo. And it is going to be pouring positivity. Regardless of what you're dealing with. I want to get one more. There you go. Page of Wands again. Enthusiastic. Optimistic. Creative and impatient news of exciting opportunities i'm telling you virgo allowing your creativity to soar doing things that fuel your passion and finishing what you start virgo all i can say is whatever happened in the past whatever changes were for your ultimate best good okay so if you're doubting yourself you're not sure just keep your reminding yourself don't quit before the miracle happens that's what the star is. It's about miracles. And you might be struggling right now, having doubts and like, Shh, oh, I don't know if I can make it up this hill. You will be given. Just pray. Ask for assistance. Ask your guides. Ask spirit. Ask God. Ask the universe. I don't want to quit. Please send me some assistance even. I mean, they'll listen. Your angels, they'll hear you. They'll listen and they'll help you along this journey because they put you there and they don't want to see you fail. Okay. All right. September 8th. Screaming at me. Whoa. And the 10th. Okay. September 12th. September 3rd. Let's get all the September and August birthdays. September 13th. September 22nd. August 31st. Okay. Um, August 30th. Okay, you've got Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, and Taurus. Significant signs this month. Okay. 1986, 1989, 1969. We have 58, 49, 65 could be 1965 54 51 40 32 75 1975 or age 75 okay february and march of 2025 will be significant for you as far as results go seeing the results of things to come long term and something some very positive energy is happening in the month of february and march you could also have a connection with an aquarius or a pisces okay and oh they're saying september 2nd all right let's get some names and initials see what shows up here Vicky, Vicky, Aaron. Okay. Somebody's got two B's in the name. Two B's. Okay. If you like pina colada. All right. So you have an F as in Frank. I, C, E, the letter H, the letter A, two A's two B's or a B or just an A. We have a Q, W, 
letter N, Z, I, letter P, and letter O. Chad, Gabby, Gabrielle, Chaz, Chaz, Charles, Cha Cha, Cha Cha Cha, Charity, hey Charity, <laughs> Chick, Chicky, Chick, let's see. All right, they're not really giving me any names here. Hopefully you guys can see. All right, well, I called the initial. So if the initial resonates for you, take it into account. If it's your first or last name, this reading is definitely being called for you. All right, let's get some charms. Okay, so we have a pair of scissors. There's some connection here to a pair of scissors. So you're either a hairdresser, or you're getting your hair cut, or you're working with scissors. Definitely um, connection to uh, your employment, or maybe it's something you're going to school for. Some connection to scissors, okay? Now you do have like missing your other half. So you might be feeling you're missing your other half. Don't worry, they're coming. Or someone else is feeling that. Or there's a sense of loss, okay? I think we saw that in the beginning. And you also have like a black smiley face. <laughs> okay, somebody might have dark colored skin. Or maybe you're making some... I don't know, you burn your burn in your cookies. Virgo, don't burn your cookies, I'm hearing. Something here about burning some cookies. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I love this. So you've got a moon and it's got all these different, I'm feeling like a stained glass moon, quarter moon, crescent moon, something with a stained glass crescent moon could resonate for you. Again, with a marquee star. So something with the movies, I'm connecting to the movies here and you have a wagon wheel key an old time rag wagon wheel key and this feels like like the wild west like something from the western times i'm picking up like western as in like the west old days wild wild west wagon wheel or something to do with a wagon wheel cowboys the wild west maybe old movies being on like a, a wild west ranch a western ranch um okay hold on a minute you've got a fairy but she has no head the the, the headless fairy what the heck is that <laughs> look you guys Does she have no head or does she have three heads? I can't make heads or tails of that, but there's definitely, um, <laughs> that's what I'm feeling like a headless fairy. I don't know what that, I have no idea what that means. I'm just telling you a headless fairy. I don't know. Maybe you're, do you have a statue? Maybe the head breaks off? My God, if it happens, definitely come back to the comments. <laughs> Let me know. And then you have um, a dolphin with a ball, like a beach ball. So this is like a statue somewhere of some sort, like on a coast, in a coastal town or something along those lines. Anywhere in the world. I don't, I'm not really picking up where, but I'm just feeling like this if you're seeing this if you're not just listening to this reading but if you're if you're visualize you're seeing it you're watching it this is like a statue somewhere that's connected to some kind of coastal town it's somewhere in the world it's significant maybe it's significant for you or just you know in re relation to the reading is what i feel like is going on here all right virgo so very positive energies love the reading i'm gonna leave that there um okay Lots going on on my phone right now. So, um, yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, there's still um, the discounts are still up 
for November. So definitely go check them out. Like 25% off. The text readings are really cheap. So definitely go check those out. And I'll be back here tomorrow with your weekend reading. Um, thanks everybody for being in the chat. Awesome to see you guys. And I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Ooh.